It's like Casper's just busting it down on my windshield right now. Alright guys, welcome back to Subnautica. So, last episode we ended up getting the hatching enzymes. So that means I gotta go back to the lava zone and actually give these hatching enzymes to the mama, whatever her name is. I'm gonna call her Cynthia. I'm gonna go give it to Cynthia. I don't know what these hatching enzymes are, but like, if I give it to her and it makes her have birth, am I like, am I delivering sperm right now? What, like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, am I just like a traveling sperm merchant? Is that what I am right now? Like, what the fuck is, like, what is going on so i'm hoping that whatever this sperm is that i'm bringing to her it's actually gonna cure like the sickness that's going around because i want to get off of this planet but honestly i'm kind of surprised my guys never started hallucinating like you know when they put people in like solitary confinement and jail and shit i know that they'd be going crazy after just a couple days of like not being able to talk to anyone so imagine just being in this area you can't talk to anyone you're surrounded by water all the time you have to swim all the time you can only eat fish you'd probably go crazy like when i get home if like someone puts on spongebob i don't think i'd be able to watch that shit honestly just seeing fucking the crusty crab underwater or just seeing underwater in general probably just i probably start having seizures if i have a kid in this universe and they start watching bubble guppies i'm throwing the controller at the tv i'm cracking that shit i'm not watching no bubble guppies i've dealt with enough water in my life that was probably the smoothest entrance I've ever had into this Lost River. I know that there's another entrance to get into this place that's like way easier than fucking the one I go through right now. But I really don't want to go find it. I'm too lazy to go find that other entrance, I'm not gonna lie to you. I found this one and this is the one I'll probably be going to, even though it's a pain in the ass. Like I'm gonna keep getting stuck on these branches and there's a whole ghost leviathan in here and I fuck up my cyclops whenever I come in here. Honestly, I'd rather deal with that than go and find another entrance. I'm just, I'm just lazy, not gonna lie. I don't know where Timmy is. I haven't seen Timmy since I went to go fuck with his mom. That sounds wrong. Tim Timmy, I don't mean it like that. We didn't do anything, okay? If anything, she just scared me away. I I didn't do anything with your mom. Calm down, Timmy. But honestly, why did Cynthia, the big emperor mama, why did she trust me? Am I just a chosen one to her? The Warpers have been trying to cure this disease for a super long time. They haven't been able to do what I'm doing right now. I don't know. Is it because the Warpers are assholes? Does Cynthia not just like not fuck with the Warpers? So she basically just withheld the information from them and said, well, fuck you guys. I'm just going to let you guys burn yo what the yo th that thing is eating the ray hold on i gotta go save that shit i i don't want anyone fucking with my rays yeah leave them alone like i'm always scared of going through this area with the tree because i feel i don't want to hit any of them i don't want to run any of them over they don't got hospitals they don't got life insurance they're just they're just living i used to hate driving the cyclops but now it's not it's honestly not too bad and also i don't really have much of a choice because i can't bring my sea moth all the way down to the lava zone and i don't really feel like just jumping my way to the fucking lava zone with my prawn suit all the way from my base so this is the best i got i saw this uh i saw this video on like twitter of some like white truck and it got absolutely destroyed by like a semi and that's what i can like that's probably what it's like when a fish hits my cyclops that's probably what it's like see if there's one big complaint i have about the cyclops is this these headlights are ass. They're actually, like, it's not even, they don't illuminate the things in front of you. It's basically, they just put, like, white light right in front of you, and it doesn't illuminate anything. It's looking, like, right now, it's looking like I'm looking at a ghost ass cheeks. It's like Casper's just busting it down on my windshield right now. I want to be careful of the whole big monster so he was he definitely is scary but at, at least i know that in my cyclops he can't really do much to me like he shot fireballs at my cyclops and my cyclops took that shit like a tank now if i went outside of my cyclops that's a different story and like i said before i do want to eventually try to scan every single leviathan and i think he's the last one i need i don't know how the fuck i'm gonna do that all right so i don't hear him yet usually he like moves and shit and that's when i know he's around like an old mcdonald had a farm head ass all right so there's the rock pussy oh there he is i hear him i wonder what it's like to be i'm guessing these people are like cold-blooded i'm not a fuck i'm not a biologist so i don't know like what kind of blood you gotta have to live in temperatures like this but i wonder what it's like like you have to live in like a hundred something degree fahrenheit temperatures just to live i wonder what that's like and then you go to like the 70s and you're like freezing your ass off all right i'm not gonna put the silent running thing on right now because i want to get to there as fast as possible if i can and i don't know where he is if i see him i'll 
I'll turn on the silent running, but if I don't see him, I should be chilling. Yeah, no idea where the fuck he is, so I'm just gonna go back into my little parking spot. Let me parallel park this bitch. In real life, I do not parallel park. When I first got my license, like, I don't know how many years ago, I remember the guy telling me, like, the one who's doing the, uh, the road test. After I did the parallel park, he, like, looked at me and was like, yo, bro, like, that, that was not good enough for parallel parking. But you know what? I'll, I'll let it slide. You passed. Ever since I got my license, I think I've only parallel parked, like, once. I'd rather go find a parking garage and park there or park a little further down the street than parallel park. Fuck that shit. All right, turn on the light. Yep, there you go. All right, Cynthia, I'm, I'm here. I'm here to deliver your sperm or whatever the fuck I'm doing. You gotta tell me, bro, because this is making me uncomfy. All right, Cynthia, I'm back. Where's your big ass at? Oh, there you are. Yo, have you been sitting there just waiting for me? You know, I'll take this chance to actually look at you. Give you a little pat on the shoulder. You know, we'll get through this. We'll get through this birthing phase together. Okay, I'll hold your tentacle. I'll hold your hand. She is... I'm gonna whisper this, but... Yo, she is ugly as fuck. I know you're peaceful and all, and you're pretty cool. You're an ally. You're gonna help me get off this planet. But if there was something on Earth that looked like you and was the size of you... Cuttlefish egg discovered? What the fuck is a cuttlefish? But if there was something on planet Earth that looked like you, I'm sorry, but I am sending every single possible missile and shooting it. All right, so I'm sorry for keep you waiting so long. I went to go do other things. I was scanning uh, other leviathans. They weren't as big as you, but you know, they're pretty big and scary. Incubator, insert hatching enzymes. Oh, so it's just right away. They were waiting for that sperm. Please don't hurt me. Sea Emperor Juvenile. Yo, I saw one of your dead babies in a laboratory. This probably isn't the best time to say that, but they looked exactly like this, only, you know, lifeless. A juvenile emperor specimen, it is producing a highly potent form of enzyme 42, which should be capable of fully curing individuals of the alien bacterium. Holy shit, it's actually happening. The species hatches relatively fully formed and independent, perhaps reflecting the fact that they must fend for themselves when they are first born away from their parents. Your parent is right in front of you, you're perfectly fine. This specimen is healthy and exhibiting signs of a positive attitude to life. Let's go! Depression, not a good thing. I don't want you guys to have that. You know, like kind of looking at that picture right there, they kind of remind me of a turtle. I think it's like the little flippers in the, in the head. They kind of remind me of a turtle, but with a fucked up back with tentacles. And also since they like go off on their own, like a turtle does, I guess that's kind of the same thing. All right, so what the fuck? They're meeting their mama. Aw, that's actually kind of cute. I'm sorry for saying I'd nuke you. I'm so sorry. You know what? You're you're pretty you're pretty cool, Cynthia. All right, but now what do you want me to do? Oh shit! You're whipping your hair back. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. You're welcome. It was You're gonna die? Don't die. Next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seeds to a new land. No, Cynthia. It sees the gaps between the grains of sand. You are pretty dope, Cynthia. I'm your friend, and you are my friend too. You are the only person I could really speak to. Rest easy, Cynthia. Are you a gonna close your eyes or cynthia i thought you said you're gonna die cynthia you're still breathing this isn't your farewell cynthia what the fuck is going okay all right you know what that you wanted to make it dramatic and shit uh, i'll just pretend that you died okay all right peace cynthia i'm guessing they left because i don't see the babies anywhere my only question is how the fuck did they leave unless they can like crawl on land like a turtle all right so what the hell where do i go maybe you have to go find them out there in the wild cynthia um i know you wanted to be all dramatic and say you're gonna die i know you're not dead yet so you can probably speak but like what do i do can you please tell me more cynthia please cynthia wake up all right, what the? All right, so it has to be in here. I don't think I have to go and find them in the wild. What is this thing? Touch concentrated enzyme 42. Can I scan it? No. What is this thing? You know, I'm playing like volleyball with this shit. Hold on. Bang. Bang. All right, I guess I'll touch it. Is that like shit? What is that? Is that shit? Am I just rubbing shit all over myself? Oh my, it's even, you're getting even, you're getting in every single crevice. I'm like Sandman right now.
I did something. I got an achievement, optimal health. Let me scan myself. Is there anything different? Oh shit! I'm cured! Cynthia, I'm cured! I can actually leave the planet, holy shit, okay! Cynthia, I thank you so much. You know, I'm glad we had this relationship, and I wish you the best of life. Um, you're probably just gonna keep sitting here and just wait until you die. I don't think this is the best case scenario. There's a teleporter right there. Maybe you can just, like, squeeze through, I'm not too sure. I just wanna say thank you, and, uh, I'll promise to take care of your kids. Your kids are in safe hands with me. I will make sure that they, you know, they grow up nice and strong, they get a good education. I'll send them to a private school and everything. Best education they can possibly get. I'll get loans. I'll get some student aid. Anything you need. Holy shit. Okay, so that's where that brought me. Hold on. Guys, guys, I don't want to die right now, please. I thought that that was going to bring me to land. I thought that was going to bring me to land. Oh, I'm chilling. I can make this. Oh, I'm here. See, that's cool and all that I'm over here, but my Cyclops is over there. Even though you're just a baby, you're gigantic. Look at you. I wonder if he grows up. Will you grow up? Just be careful. There's a Reaper around here, so just don't go near him. You know, I'm not going to lie. I think this is their poop. I really just got cured from them just taking a shit, and then I rubbed that shit all over my hands and all over my face, and then I started drinking the shit. All right, so it spawned me over here. I might as well see if I can just the gun while I'm here. All right, so I gotta go find that thing that that thing that stabbed me last time. Now I wonder if this is like a timed thing because the bacteria, I mean the uh, virus is still out there. It's still like floating around and it's I'm guessing it's contagious because how that's how I got it and everyone else has it in this planet. So I don't know if like if I go back into the water after a period of time I'll just get infected again and then I gotta go touch some shit. Although I can see why Cynthia was like prepared to die in there because she's huge. I know I told her she might be able to crawl through the teleporter but let's be honest here she is not doing that unless she somehow can crawl her way out from the top but then she'll have to deal with that big dude outside the fucking sea dragon and i don't know if she can handle him i don't know why but the sound of like my feet slapping the floor it just sounds weird and i don't like it like listen to it i feel like a penguin I sound like I sound like a penguin just fucking flopping around moment of truth is the gun gonna go down or am i just i don't know am i just stuck here Tell me. Stab me. Do it. Oh shit, what the fuck? Yo, don't play with me like that. Just stab me. Get it over with. Idiot, why the fuck did you punch it? What's happening? I know I told you guys not to pay your electric bill last episode, but like, this isn't what I meant. guessing it's is the gun disabled did i just okay tell me did i disable the gun or did i just turn the lights off please tell me i disabled the gun i don't want to be a glorified electrician bro i came here to get off the planet not to fix your guys lights problem see for any speedrunners out there i wonder what would happen if i disabled the gun before the sunbeam got here would i is there like a separate ending where i can like get on the sunbeam and leave i don't see anything different or maybe i do maybe i'm just i just don't remember it was like the was the gun like sticking up or was it down like this wait no i think it is different because wasn't this like kind of like upwards a little bit it was kind of pointing up and then down or maybe i'm just bugging and i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about it looks disabled and i'll take it honestly there's no way that hurt you're a bitch all right now i gotta go to that portal because i left all my shit over there and i don't want to leave it there do you still hurt me because you kind of hated me because i was infected right Yo, he doesn't hurt me anymore. We're friends. How the fuck was my arm like that? Oh, shit. Cynthia, no. Cynthia, what happened to you? Who did this to you? You were perfectly fine a couple minutes ago. Who did this shit to you? Look me in the eye and tell me if it was you. Again, I'll make sure your kids get the best education. I'll make sure they grow up and live in the suburbs. I'll make sure they live in like a high-end penthouse if they want to do that. I'll make sure they pursue their dreams. One of them wants to be a lawyer. Shit, I'll find a, like a law firm. One of them wants to be a doctor. I'll have them go study at a hospital. I don't know how the fuck this works, but if one of them wants to be a retail retail employee shit i'll get him a job at walmart or fucking price chopper whichever one i'll i'll let him do it all but don't you worry cynthia your kids will be in good hands my tiny hands but what she doesn't know is that i will be leaving this planet with her kids behind but we're not gonna talk about that in front of her okay well shit i guess i'm cured now i might need to come back here i might just try to so i have my prawn suit with me right now i think i'm just gonna try to 
fucking lights, man. Stop it. I have my prawn suit with me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to try to mine as many ion cubes as I can. Just completely fill my inventory up with ion cubes. Just because in case I need them for anything over there. Like I know I need them for the ion batteries. So I'll just get as many as I can here so I don't have to come back. Where the fuck is the big cow? Yeah, I don't, I don't know where the big cow went. Bro, I'm trying to say bye. All right, you know what? Fuck that, dude. I don't know where he is. He doesn't want to say bye. He's a little bitch. <laughs>